everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny. This is C. This is the Tranny and C show. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You can about say that. it a few times. Um, and today we've got Toasty. Oh, okay. Um, not Toasty. Toast. They, this month we've been uh, so thankful to be sponsored by uh, Basil Hayden himself. And we, himself. Yep. Them, uh, themself. Themself. They uh, gave us a, the full lineup. Yes. We have the toasted toast. Just yep. toast. Um, that's not like bread and butter toast. No, it's toasted barrel. So right. I guess so, that's uh, in place of a, a charred barrel. You have a toasted, which is a little lighter. Yeah. Which, which brings out what? What brings out the caramels and the sweetness mm-hmm. and the toffees and those sorts of things. The, the, the layers of the charring reveal different flavors absolutely um, but something that also brings out different flavors mm. is the mash bill in this one the which is very different because the flavoring grain for this one yeah. is actually brown rice right which right, is interesting right, right. so we've got a toasted barrel we've got brown rice likely we're gonna get some different flavor this this isn't regular old basil hayden no basil oh okay whatever slipped right out there so um so should be a little different than the original these are basically uh the jim beam lineups uh entry into the more premium market this yeah. comes in at 40 percent aged a little longer um and like you said different grain different char method so having likely. said that still a bourbon so it is at least the 51 percent corn mm-hmm. uh, percentage and they're most likely higher um, but just a, they're doing something a little bit different, which is cool in the world of bourbon to do these different grain kind of bills and um, styles of chars. Mm-hmm. And some some bourbons out there are doing, uh, you know, like Oloroso sherry barrels and things like that. So this is kind of cool. Um, immediately off the nose, it does have the sweetness, of course, that you would expect. A little bit of that, like, almond skin... Um, uh, nutty, even sure, yeah. towards the realm of like a cherryish kind of yep. vibe. Some, some classic, um, you know, Jim Beam as mm-hmm. a as a sure as a, a dist- distillery kind of vibes yeah. to it. Because of course, Basil Hayden is from the Jim Beam lineup. Yeah. Um, and but then- interesting with the the caramel notes are I've found sometimes on these toasted barrels you get a little bit more of that sweetness up front, especially on the on the nose mm-hmm. but slight bit of that little bit of that dilliness oh yeah oh it's yeah a, it does have some kind of kind of a vibe to it yeah even a little a little floralness to yeah. it as well yeah so, it's got some green veggie kind of notes to yeah, it there's a lot going on here though cool nice for the nosing a little doughy yeah definitely i mean i think reactional I, I doughy think you uh sometimes not always but you might associate Basil Hayden's with like just that little bit bump up in mm-hmm. price, mm-hmm. and but the quality seems to be also going up in in well, quality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so you are getting a bit more of a bang for your buck on this one. You know what I really like about the new look? Also, still kept the uh, the bronze uh, copper belt thing. Yeah, changed the label from that weird paper bib they made it taller and the tapered cork that kind of looks that kind of sticks outward yeah i don't know because it almost looks like it expands inside the bottle and then tapers inwards and expands at the yeah and it's got like a bit of a pirate look to it or something yeah i like it's it's got a good uh (laughs) i like a good pirate bottle you gotta love it yeah okay let's get to the flavor let's taste it Mm. i mean soft arrival Mm-hmm. Um, it has like that kind of dill thing we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Also, probably has a, I'm not 100 percent sure, but the on the mash bill sometimes that rye note pops in with that drying effect, and I kind of like that too. It tastes like it just put me to bed and tucked me in nicely. Yeah, it's cozy. like it, it's like you know ground. when it tuck you get tucked in, yeah. all the way down, and you're just snug. This this is just snugging me in. Yeah, it, for it's, the night, it's, it's a nice like by the fire. Kind of a mm-hmm. you know a cozy dram, but so it is forty percent, mm-hmm. which makes it very very approachable on the palate. Mm-hmm. You could quite easily just drink this all night. Yeah, there's like a yeah. back palate. 
caramel toffee kind of thing, but it's so soft and smooth. It's like those little caramel squares that just kind of melt in your mouth. And totally. That's what I mean. Like you could just, this could just be like a little nighty night for me. Just, <laughs> yeah, just, it's not a terrible just thing. Just tuck yeah. me in and give me a few of these and it's just soft. Take and a quick tug and yeah. you're, you're set. Like a tug <laughs> off the glass. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, Pleasant, very a very pleasant yes, whiskey, ple- very really. highly drinkable. Um, and then the toasted barrel has those like like again. I think the toasting of the barrel brings out the sugars to the surface level of it, mm. and it really injects itself into the whiskey um, compared to those like deep dark like um, charred barrels where you get a little bit more of that that toasty woody, oaky like kind yeah. of vibe to it. The, so this the is the deep harsh. Not harsh, but the deep richness. This yeah. is a little so. This is a little Werther's. Like Grandma just ripped yes. the bag open. Yes. they went everywhere. Tuck one of those into your that's right mouth at bedtime. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, All right, whatever. Okay. It's weird. Anyways, okay. It's a it's a good one. Um, interesting thing on the shelf to see because you don't you know the Basil Hayden lineups here really. From around here, you associate it with the the classically original, the original, yeah, and you don't see a lot of the variants. Variants, <laughs> I think that's a dirty word these days yeah. too. Variation, Variation variety, variety, yeah, variety. Um, but all of them are very different now. I mean, except for the original and the ten, which is like the same mash bill, just aged longer. Yeah, but the and they are different. The though. rye, the red wine, the toast, yeah, all very different from the original and the ten. Totally wildly different yeah. anyway um this has been fun thank you to to our boy ray daniel beam suntory basil hayden and to our dram club and everybody that's watching click like subscribe leave a comment cheersies cheers, cheers.